Okay, Phoenix, now that you've had a couple of weeks to spend with Susan B. Anthony, what do you think of the coins? They stink. Nobody likes them. And that comment was neither out of context nor uncommon. One Phoenix bank ordered more than a quarter million Susan Anthony's and now has that many headaches. So tellers have problems giving them out for quarters instead of dollars. And of course, we had a lot of complaints from the merchants that take them and the restaurants and things. They won't use them because they look too much like a quarter. The bankers didn't want to be identified because they're under pressure to help the Federal Reserve Banks unload Ms. Anthony. But this one will order no more of them and gives them out only on demand. Given a choice, it seems nobody wants to buy her. In fact, demand for the Eisenhower dollar has gone up. Dollars. I've got a hundred of the old silver dollars. They're going to go out of circulation. They're going to try to take them out. There's more silver in this than there is in that. That stinks. You trade it off for the size of a quarter. There's no doubt about it. You kind of feel like you've been cheated with these. We'll find out how other people feel about them when I try to pass them off. First, I tried one on a 60 cent purchase at a fast food stand. These clerks saw Susan coming. Out of the dollar. But what about the thousands of blind concessionaires who can't see? What's the out of the quarter? That's a dollar. It is. The metallic dollar has its advantages. The government saves $50 million a year because the coin will last longer than paper money, perhaps longer than anticipated if nobody uses them. Randy Ripplinger, Cool News 10.